Computer technology has forever changed daily life in the United States. Utilities, transportation, commerce, air traffic control, even the national financial system, all depend upon global computer networks. This dependency creates vulnerabilities that potential adversaries can and do exploit to strike directly at the United States and its interests. This technology has had an equally critical impact upon military operations. U.S. Army soldiers and civilians routinely use computers and the Internet for every aspect of their work, from handling sensitive information to planning operations or operating complex weapon systems. Unfriendly actors are prepared to disrupt and destroy these capabilities as well. In response to these threats, the Army created its cyber branch in 2014. An operations branch, Army Cyber integrates defensive and offensive cyberspace operations with electromagnetic spectrum operations in tactical units. The Cyber Mission Force leads hybrid warfare efforts to degrade, disrupt, destroy, and manipulate the enemy. To accomplish this mission, Cyber Branch works closely with the Army's Signal and Military Intelligence branches, as well as with Army Cyber Command, U.S. Cyber Command, the National Security Agency, and the other joint services. Throughout their careers, cyber officers can expect to serve in a variety of assignments, from combat mission teams that generate integrated cyberspace effects to cyber protection and support teams that protect DOD networks and provide analytical and planning support, or to national mission teams focused upon defeating threats to national level assets and interests. Cyber officers possess a special blend of skills, knowledge, and behaviors. Their unique talents help them to succeed in any mission. Domain-specific education. Many cyber officers possess degrees in science, technology, engineering, or math. While these are most important, the cyber branch demands expertise in other areas as well. The majority of us have a, a technical background. Since technology is the basis of what we do, it's important to be able to understand the technology. For those studying law or for those in the social sciences, get a minor in cybersecurity or information assurance. Make it relevant. Study um, cyber policy or cyber law. Technologically adept. Cyber officers understand and are comfortable with the latest technologies. There are officer candidates, there are ROTC cadets and West Point cadets out there that may not feel that they're technically competent. I myself come from a soft science background. But are in some way wired to work really well in this space. You don't have to major in a technology specific discipline as long as you expose to it and demonstrate that you have technical capability. Logical, analytical. Cyber officers apply sound reasoning to all situations. Thinking in terms of cause and effect, they logically analyze challenges to disaggregate and solve complex problems. It's critical to be logical and analytical as a cyber officer. But there always has to be this interplay of risk and reward, which comes down to logical reasoning. Good judgment and sound decision making, uh, that, that is what makes a good officer for cyber. Inspirational leader. Skilled in developing appropriate relationships, cyber officers are expert at motivating soldiers, warrant officers, and civilians to work harmoniously towards desired outcomes. And I think that's one of the bigger challenges within cyber because we do work with so many eclectic people. In my squad, I have junior NCOs, um, senior NCOs, as well as warrant officers and Department of the Army civilians. Being able to get people to work together and having that influence to kind of shape where this big group of people are gonna focus a mission set is extremely important. Innovative. The diverse spectrum of situations cyber officers face requires them to seek and devise creative and insightful solutions and 
to lead change. We need to be creative as well as technical. We're a, a branch made up of all sorts of different people that all have a technical mindset, uh, that all have a that all value innovation. We want folks who don't take uh, material or technology just at face value and want to understand how to use it, how to change it for their benefit. Problem solver. Cyber officers routinely use a mix of established practices and new unorthodox solutions to meet complex and ever-changing threats and challenges. There's no uh, prescribed solution for all the things that we're going to see as a cyber officer. Sometimes there's an engineering or a math solution. Sometimes there's a social science solution. Sometimes there's a humanity solution. Being able to uh, take a situation and on the fly adjust your expectations, adjust the way that you're going to execute an operation is essential. Commissioned as an MI officer through ROTC. My source of commissioning was the U.S. Military Academy. Penn State University. I majored in IT, information technology. Computer science. My undergrad and my master's were both soft science. I focused on public policy. The cyber branch is a 24-7 operational impact making branch. The threats that we face are real threats. We don't dominate the space in the way that we do in land warfare. And it's evident if you watch the news on a daily basis. Every part of our national power is threatened in cyber. There's a very strong connection between the Signal Corps, the military intelligence branch, and the, the new cyber branch. What we're doing with the cyber branch and as it's maturing and growing is delivering effects just like any other combat arms team. Cyber absolutely provides leadership opportunities. One is a, uh, an operator. One is a developer, uh, another is a, a computer network defense manager, uh, and another is a mission commander. The operations that they do and we do kind of have greater national and political implications than just your standard, you know, platoon size operation. I'm an offensive cyber operations operator. I have less responsibility when it comes to immediate supervision than I would as a normal platoon leader. I manage a squad sized element of computer network defenders. However, I'm responsible for ultimately almost 450 personnel that are working at our sites. In, in the little while I've been a lieutenant now, the experience I've seen really makes a big difference. Because the implications of a misstep are so, so high. There's a risk that when we conduct an operation, that it will affect real life production systems and systems on which hospitals, schools, and uh, you know, our families um, operate. If you're thinking about a career in cyber, then you definitely need to start early. It's not for everybody. Individuals excel in the domain are those that have a passion for it. They're driven. The hobbyists, the tinkerers, the makers, the hackers. They're also willing to do whatever it takes to get that job done. If you're interested in something that's new, that's innovative. It takes a special type of leader. If you want to be a change agent. We want the creative thinkers. If you want to be able to have an impact on something where you can actually make a difference. Leaders in this branch really value the opinion of everyone. It may be the right space for you. It's worth an exploration. Cyber is the future.